What's cracking, everybody? How is you doing? How are you doing? How have you been? All of them. How's it going? It's been a hot ass minute, right? Yeah, it's been a hot ass minute for me too. But uh, I don't know. Figured I would make a video. I kind of want to get things going again, just because uh, I've got a lot of stuff. Just a lot of stuff I've been building and doing in the background of just not really building, to be honest with you, buying. Buying would have been the better word, you know? Um, but just right off the bat, you can probably tell that the hatch is uh, a little crooked, like like this, you know? And there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. This tire's flat, as you can tell. Uh, but obviously, I still have the hatch. I still don't have the Del Sol here. So really hoping one day I can get the Del Sol here. But this is this is really, we can get into this. We can, don't worry about that. Just, we're back to here. Um, cars, cars exactly how, uh, you've probably seen it last still runs, still drives, but I want to be able to drive it more. And in order to actually get it to drive more, I had to actually get tires. So, so in order to get tires, um, I had to get them. So I'm super juiced. I finally have brand new 215 50 R15s, Falcon Azinis, you know what I'm saying? Um, these are the same tires that have always been on these wheels uh, previously when I bought them and then now. So I think these are just always going to be the tires that I run um, on, on these wheels. Um, you can kind of see in the background, I got like an old sump and an old fish tank. I'm real, still really into reef tanks. So... If you like reef content, I kind of made a couple videos on my reef tank. Is this reefing? But, you know, it's a little plug, little plug. But it's for me, so whatever. Um, brand new tires. If you guys have seen my Instagram reel instantly, uh, recently, um, I got, you know, tires put on. Um, and these are like six years old, and they were already used when I put them on track tires. Um, so I definitely needed to get them just swapped out because in order to drive the car, I, um, I would always have to just, you know, I would always have to just, uh, air up the tires. So I've had a couple little, a uh, couple little minutes this, uh, this afternoon here. It's Saturday. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and swap the tires. So I have running tires. Um, and then just, I don't know what I'm going to get into today, but this is the steering wheel. This is the steering wheel that I've had on the Del Sol. Um, and obviously it's on an NRG uh adapter but i think what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna swap this i'm gonna swap this um i'm gonna swap it to to this guy is a momo uh but it's a momo and the reason i found this is is see if we get some light back here uh 89 so i just like that it said 89 uh, because this is an 89, so it made me feel like, oh, sure, you know, numbers match type situation. Uh, but I'm going to throw this guy on this so that when I do get my Del Sol, I have a wheel in both cars. And this is just going to be fixed on the Checkered Sports Hub. So should be good. Should be good. Um, I know my garage is like a super mess right now, but it was a lot worse. Uh, these are my... DC2 Recaros, Genuines, some Genuines. I know people are looking at this and they're just like, how could you do that? And in the back of my head, I'm like, well, uh, when you've had them for like 10 years, they're just a part of you. So sorry, guys. But I do want to clean them up. I do want to clean them up. And uh, they're going to go in here. Uh, PLM has created like bottom mount stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and use the bottom mount stuff. And I think I can get the driver's side in here and then the passenger eventually. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get these tires on. Probably not going to film that whole thing because you all know how to put on tires. And then we'll check it out. All right. Yes. Uh, they just look so good on this car. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we don't have to talk about the wheel gap, though. I definitely need to fix that. Um, I think it was better with these, but now i got to adjust it for these. But uh, I definitely like it when um, the top of that wheel is near that black line. Almost wanted to, like, touch it, you know, because then we got chef's kiss fitment. That's just me. That's just me. And then um, just to just to induce that, that front camber right there, just mwah, chef's kiss. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Ah, ah, ah. Okay, anyway, so moving on. Um, okay, let's address this. Um, if you can tell right here, we're scraping paint. Why? Because every time I would pop 
the hood up because my battery's back here because I'm an idiot, um, it would it would get stuck and it would start to hit. And then I was always afraid that if I moved it a little more, it was gonna um, pop the whole back glass. And this would be like my third hood. We don't also don't have to get into that. Um, so I took it off and I'm gonna put the battery back in the bay. Um, but these are just rusted. Half a can of PB Blaster and straight up some of these later. Um, they moved, uh, but then when I stopped moving them every day, they, they froze. So I hit up CRX dude, uh, cause he's local here. Um, <laughs> oddly enough, and I wasn't actually able to meet him, but he shipped them to me, which took like 45 minutes by mail. That's how close, uh, that I couldn't meet up with the guy. Uh, but I need to replace these and then try to get the hood back on. And then I'm hoping that with enough little loosey goosiness, I won't deal. I won't deal with that. That's an inside joke, but, um, yeah, but the problem now is, the problem now is to get to these bolts here, um, you got to literally take out everything. So if you made it this far in the video and you have an EF and you've been able to get to these or have seen them without literally taking apart this whole inside, that whole shenanigan in there, uh, please let me know uh, because I'm about to have a heart attack if I'm about to gut my entire car, which I'm not against, but I'm also just not trying to do specifically. Um, but man, these wheels, dude. I'm super juiced on these, to be honest with you. So, hell yeah. Okay, this video is kind of all over the place, but not really. But this is this is just how things are going to go, guys, because this is just this is how I'm going to go. Pause. But... Um, is it a little purple? Maybe it's not anodizing. It's supposed to be black. This checkered sports uh, short hub. Yeah, you should get one of these. This is the stubby. They have another one that's a little longer. But and by they, I mean Raul fucking does. Um, but it's dope. I actually kind of like the purpley look though. It's not. It stays in the fucking garage, so I don't think it's doesn't matter. Uh, okay, as you guys can tell, this is six bolt. Don't mind the rusty bolts, but this is a six bolt. Um, I have the personal that's hooking up to the, to the, um, I'm not gonna, oh, okay, I got one hand this one, I've done it before, oh, okay, cool, perfect, uh, different bolt pattern, obviously, because it connects to these NR to G, um, and this one is this six star, which matches up to the six star, so I'm just gonna put this wheel right onto the hub, um, and then I'm going to have this nice Momo connected straight to the stubby. Um, that's how we're going to do it. So let's see. One, two, and a, just kidding. But yeah, one, two, three. Shoo. Okay. All right. Well, I swapped, swap wheels. Uh, don't worry about that, but I'll fix that. Uh, little problem though, little problem though. One is I think when I put the seat in, I was always a little bit to the fucking, I think it was always a little bit to the left for some reason. Kind of sucks, but yeah, I live. Um, one thing I noticed though is, uh, like I got no room. I might need, I might need the, the hub to come out a little bit more. <sighs> That's a problem, but um, I like it. I don't drive too much, so I could always just drive up here, and then I always have this. Um, but yeah, definitely looks better. Definitely looks better. Um, I'd love the optional lower. I'd love the optional lower. But uh, overall, this looks this looks good. It's definitely too close. Probably need to bring it out a little bit more. Um, maybe because it's flatter. Maybe because it's flatter. But also, I had all of this to bring it out a bit more. So, yeah, that's a problem. Yo, what up? Remember me? Ah, ah, ah. Hey, all right. So I think I'm going to end it here. Um, just got the wheels on. Got this Momo wheel on. I feel good about that. I might make sure that the center cap goes in because I like the little sword. Um, but yeah, I got a lot more stuff I need to do. That was just the beginning. Um, the big one is taking the seat out and actually getting the Recaros in, but I need to work on that a little bit off camera. I got to clean them up. I might make a video about cleaning them. Really need to clean them deep clean with like the carpet cleaner and stuff. That might be really nice. Um, engine based stuff a lot. I got headlights, like um, just, I got cool stuff. I got, I got genuinely cool stuff. Sorry if it's really dark right now. I don't know why it got really dark right now. Let me see. Oh, hey phone. Is that better? Oh, that's worse. 
Oh god, guys, I'm off my game. I'm off my game. Anyways, um, that's it. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Appreciate ya. Um, I got more videos. I want to come. I want to make more videos again. Um, I just think I'm gonna care a little bit less, but but not if you know what I mean. I just want to kind of crank and and in my head I cared so much about making sure that I showed you things or I was somebody or uh, I don't know. I, I just don't know. And then I got, I got like taken out by like work. My last job was probably the craziest and probably the worst job I ever had. It was good, but it just, it ate your soul. It was kind of one of those places, but I'm out and I'm at a new spot and it's better at least for now. Um, it's like a contract job. So like I got a job to like March, which is kind of cool, but you know, you know how it goes. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Really appreciate you. Love you. Peace. Hit subscribe, like, do all that. I haven't said that in a while, so I kind of wanted to, like a little, you know, hey, hey, hey. All right, later, guys. Bye.